Hi everyone! Today I will show you how to make a triple chocolate cake and this is the only chocolate cake you'll ever need. It is very chocolatey, thick, but not too gooey. If you like brownies, this is an elevated, upgraded version of it. It is literally like eating Belgian chocolate truffles in a delicious cake form. Even the texture is so similar. You will need only one piece to satisfy your most chocolate cravings. Even people who don't like desserts are asking me about this recipe. So if you love chocolate, better start preparing ingredients, because it's really worth it. And the recipe is ridiculously simple. Just perfect for your loved ones on Valentine's Day. Let's start making the recipe. First, in a small pot on medium-low heat, place 75 grams of unsalted butter, 30 ml or 2 tablespoons of freshly brewed espresso coffee, 30 ml or 2 tablespoons of whiskey or brandy, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 15 grams of unsweetened cacao powder, 120 grams of semi-sweet chocolate or 60 grams of milk chocolate and 60 grams of dark chocolate with at least 70% of cacao content. Mix it until ingredients are nicely combined and chocolate is fully melted. Then turn off the stove and set it aside. You can also preheat your oven at this point, up to 330 Fahrenheit degrees or 165 Celsius degrees. Now we will need three large eggs, separately egg yolks and egg whites. First, beat the egg yolks with 50 grams of icing sugar for exactly 10 minutes. They will become fluffy, pale and kind of thick consistency. Next, in a separate bowl, beat 3 egg whites with 1 fifth teaspoon of salt until firm and fluffy. It took me exactly 2 minutes. Afterward, add 50 grams of icing sugar and beat the egg whites one more minute. Now, when our chocolate mixture is cooled down a bit, add it to beaten egg yolks in three parts, mixing gently after each part until ingredients are nicely combined. Sift through a mesh strainer exactly 27 grams of all-purpose flour and 1 third teaspoon of baking powder. Mix well.
add half of a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and mix again. Next add beaten egg whites in two parts, mixing gently after each part as well. Prepare an 8-inch baking form, grease it with butter and place a piece of parchment paper on the bottom of the form. Transfer the chocolate mixture to a baking form and bake it for exactly 35 minutes. After that time, take out the cake from the oven and let it cool down at room temperature. When our chocolate cake is already cooled down, take the chopstick or another kind of thin stick and poke the cake. This way the chocolate glaze we will prepare will go deeper into a cake and the effect will be amazing. Now we can start preparing the chocolate glaze. In a small pot on low heat, Add 3 tablespoons of heavy cream, half cup of icing sugar, one hundred ten grams of unsalted butter. Three tablespoons of unsweetened cacao powder and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix it until the ingredients are nicely combined and the glaze just starts to bubble. Now let it cool down for five minutes and then pour it on a cake trying to fill up these little holes we made before with a chopstick. Now place this cake in the fridge overnight. The next day this lovely chocolate cake is ready to eat. I like to top it with some whipped cream and extra pieces of chocolate. But it is so delicious that you can easily skip this as well. Enjoy! If you like this video or you want to see more recipes like that in the future, please subscribe by pressing the red subscribe button below the video. More recipes like that you can find on my website paulinaskitten.com Bye!